Good morning guys, I hope you're all well. So I wanted to do a video today on fear, fear of becoming detectable again, fear that, 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 that HIV is gonna come back and, and uh, start doing what it does best in, uh, in my body. And uh, I get that anxiety and that fear every time I go um, to the clinic. It's getting less and less now um, each time I go. Uh, because every time I've been, I'm still undetectable uh, and HIV is is not doing anything within my body. It's not harming me. But um, certainly in the very, I mean, I'm, I'm only two and a half years in uh, to my diagnosis. I was diagnosed in October of 2021. So this October, this year will be three years since, since I was diagnosed. But uh, I still do get anxious a little bit when I go for my blood work. Um, one because I hate needles and um, two because you know I'm fearful of what what the, the blood work will, will show um, you know my specialist every time I go in there says Pete you're gonna be fine there's gonna be no issues um, HIV will not kill you you will die an old man of something else but it's I still get anxious and certainly in the very beginning when I was diagnosed I would always be fearful that I would become detectable again and for those that don't know what that means the medication I take Victavi one pill a day suppresses HIV in my body to a undetectable level which means then you cannot transmit HIV to a sexual partner or anyone else but um, I still even to this day I get um, a little you know that fear is there lurking in the background you know fear of what the blood work uh, results are going to show but um, yeah I've had a number of people message me about this that they're that they're scared and they're fearful and I totally get you I totally feel where you're coming from and um, because you know I experienced the same thing and I'm sure many people who are who are diagnosed with HIV um, get the same but what I try and tell people is is that, that time is a healer if you know what I mean it gets easier as um, time goes on and as you walk this journey living with this thing in your body this virus um, you begin to realize and have more faith in the medication um, that it's doing its job and if you take it as prescribed which is so important take it at the same time every single day then whatever drug you're on will do what it is supposed to do. Adherence to the medication, that's what they call it, is so important. Um, if you do, if you play your part and do what you're supposed to do by taking your medication every day, look after yourself as well. Eat healthily, work out if you can. Um, then you're gonna live a long life, you know. Um, you've got as much chance as anyone else, but... Um, <clears throat> Now, some people do have what they call blips, um, which is, you know, a little spike in your uh, viral load where you will become detectable again. That, that's not everyone, but I have heard of this happening to some people and there's no real ex explanation for it. Now, I did hear of someone who got um, severe diarrhea and the medication they think passed through their system too quickly, uh, which is what caused that little spike. But in most cases, it's still not enough to transmit um, HIV. And they call those blips. Now, I haven't had one of those uh, yet. Um, you know, I, I was diagnosed in October of 2021 and I've became undetectable within three weeks. My viral load was 24,600 when I was diagnosed and my CD4 was 340. But within three weeks of being put on medication, I was undetectable. So that is how effective this medication is. And it's just about having faith and trust in the medication. And as time goes on, that, that begins to grow. But um, I totally understand that fear, um, you know, and I still get it to a certain degree now, not as much as I used to, uh, but I do get a little bit anxious um, when I get go to get my results. For instance, last week I went for my blood work, my six monthly checkup and on the 10th of July, I will get my results. And uh, I always get a little bit anxious of, of what it's gonna show, but it is always shown undetectable. Um, CD4 has gradually been on the increase over the past um, three years. My last CD4 was 620. So from 340 when I was diagnosed to 620. 
So uh, I totally get you, I totally feel you. Um, I understand that fear, um, but I just want to encourage you today and, and, and just let you know, guys, that it, it does get easier as time goes on. It really does. Time is definitely a healer and things do get easier. So uh, I hope that helps. Um, hope you all have a fantastic day, guys. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Please like the video and share it and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.